Do you find yourself looking for some real pumpkin flavor this season, but you're not sure where to begin? I have got you covered because that's exactly what we are going to talk about today on Tasty Tidbits with Tiff. My name is Tiffany and I am so excited you're here. As you hop on, drop a hi in the comments and where you are watching from. And for those of us joining for the replay, just add in hashtag replay. Now, if you have some pumpkin loving friends, be sure to tag them in the comments or share this video with them so they can learn all things pumpkin. Now, for those of you that are new here, my name is Tiffany and I help busy millennials who feel overwhelmed in the kitchen learn new skills to create quick, easy recipes with wine pairings. Follow me on social media for daily tips, tricks, recipes, and inspiration. And for, again, for those of you that are new or just a friendly reminder, be sure to set that alarm every Wednesday at 1 o'clock Central where I go live right here for Tasty Tidbits with Tiff. And today we are talking all things pumpkin, my personal favorite time of year. If you also love pumpkin, drop pumpkin in the comments. And little bonus for you, when you drop pumpkin in the comments, I'm also going to hook you up with my pumpkin 101 cheat sheet that is going to help you roast your own pie pumpkin this season and get you started with some of my personal favorite recipes that come together in a breeze in the kitchen with that fresh pumpkin puree. Now we are also going to touch base on some highly nutritious information and why you should be using this pie pumpkin in your cooking and baking needs this season versus that can of pumpkin pie filling or canned pumpkin in general. This is going to be the better option. So let's get started. Now, first of all, when it comes to pie pumpkins, this one honestly is one of the biggest I've ever seen. Uh, if you have never tried a pie pumpkin, never roasted your own pumpkin, I want you to drop a two in the comments. And if you have roasted your own pumpkin, drop a one in the comments. I'm curious where everyone is at. Now, for me, I roasted my first pie pumpkin 10 years ago, and I have never looked back. Now, before then, little disclaimer here, I always went after the canned Libby's. I was that person. I know I'm not the only one, but once I roasted my own pie pumpkin, I could never go back to the canned stuff. Did you know most canned pumpkin pie filling is actually primarily squash? There's barely any pumpkin even in it. And this is often the case with canned pumpkin in general. So if you find yourself shopping in that canned good aisle, make sure you check the labels. The little benefit to having your own, not only does it save you on the nutrition factor, but it is going to save you so much money. So this pie pumpkin, you can see basically the size of my head. It is huge. It is heavy. Um, this actually came from our uh, CSA. So support your local gardener, support your farmer's market whenever you can. For those of you unable, you can get pie pumpkins at your most local, local grocery stores, uh, but you're going to pay more at a grocery store than you are direct at the farm. Not to mention, you can usually get bigger ones like this at the farm. Your typical pie pumpkin is going to be about half this size uh, when you are going to your average grocery store and you're typically looking at about three to five dollars for a pie pumpkin <clears throat> now of course you can get them on sale shop the sales but that's pretty equivalent to the price of a can as well but you are going to get two to three times the amount of puree if not more out of that pie pumpkin than you do in the can for the same cost. It saves you money. It tastes so much better and it's healthier, which we'll dive into in those nutrients here in just a moment. Uh, but to roast your own, super easy. Break off the stem, cut it in half. A uh, coated chef's knife works really well for this because uh, just like other squash, 
it's hard to cut through. And then you grab yourself a handy little scoop loop. This is one of those tools that you never knew you needed until you have it and use it. But this scoops out the seeds in a breeze. Also great for bell peppers, zucchini boats, other squash, you name it. Um, it's super flexible too. Uh, so this little end you can use to haul strawberries, tomatoes, so many uses. Um, but I use it all the time to scoop out peppers and to scoop out seeds of my pumpkin and squash. Truly amazing. Uh, but you're going to then just put those two halves uh, cut side up on a sheet pan, roast in the oven for about or at 450 for about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, this one, given its size, is probably going to take more like an hour to an hour and 10. Uh, but your typical pie pumpkin, just like a squash, is going to take on average about 40 to 45 minutes. And also, just like a squash, stab it with a fork. Once it's soft enough to stab, that's how you know it's done. And then give it a few minutes to cool, scoop it out, stick it in your blender or food processor, and you have got fresh puree. Amazing. We'll get into recipes here in a moment, and I will share with you those favorites. But again, if you want a direct access to my personal favorites and these tips on how to roast, drop pumpkin in the comments. I will hook you up. So in one cup of puree, you are looking at about 49 calories. So it's a pretty low calorie food item, but it's got two grams of protein, three grams of fiber in that one cup. So it's going to stick with you. It's going to fill you up. Um, but plus, it is filled with vitamins, antioxidants, and other nutrients. So one cup of pumpkin, you are looking at over 200% of your recommended daily value of vitamin A. Also, super high in vitamin C, vitamin B2, manganese, potassium. It is a superfood and it tastes delicious when you are combining it with the right flavors and roasting pureeing your own. Now also pumpkin is about 94% water so it is a great option for some heart healthy and overall nutritious food. I love doing this in smoothies, but I have got so many other recipes too that I'm gonna share little snippets here with you. And that way you can get some ideas on how to enjoy fresh pumpkin puree in addition to just a pumpkin pie this holiday season. So pumpkin pie smoothies are one of my personal favorites. Uh, great for breakfast, afternoon snack, um, just that afternoon pick me up pre-workout, post-workout, so many options. Um, but one of our common go-tos with pumpkin, especially when we roast our first one of the season, is pumpkin chili, which has got all of the chili flavors, plus that little bit of fall flavor with the pumpkin and some cinnamon. And it goes delicious with pumpkin cornbread and some homemade pumpkin honey butter. Truly the best fall meal ever. But for some more sweeter options, you could do some oatmeal energy bites. These are also great for an afternoon pick-me-up or a post-workout snack. Um, you have got overnight oats. And for my vegetarian friends out there, some pumpkin veggie burgers with a chipotle rub. Oh my goodness, so good. They are also really good on the grill. Um, so so many options. If you are curious about these recipes, you want the details, drop pumpkin in the comments and I will hook you up with my pumpkin cheat sheet. So that way you can start to enjoy fresh pumpkin right away in your kitchen today. And if you have some fellow pumpkin lovers, be sure to tag them in the comments, share this video with them so they can learn and grow right along with us.